Hi, my name is Petya Osenova and on behalf of Machi Ogorodnichuk and the core team behind Parliament Project, I would like to present it to you. So, Parliament is the first Quarim flagship project. It was enhanced in COVID times. It is financially supported by Quarim and it was and is conducted in two stages. Parliament 1 ran from July 2020 to May 2021 and Parliament 2 is now running from December 2021 to May 2023. Parliament 1 created and made available corpora for 70 parliaments and started to use them in training and research. Parliament 2 is upgrading the XML schema and validation. It is extending the existing corpora adding corpora for new parliaments, further enhancing the corpora with additional metadata, and of course, improving the usability of this corpora. What are the results from Parliament Stage 1? It is 17 corpora, representing 17 countries' parliaments, covering 16 languages and also 11,000 speakers, 500,000 speeches, and 500 million words. These data are available for download under license. They are publicly accessible and they are made available only with their metadata but also there is a version with linguistic annotation. So here we can see the countries, the time span and the size of the corpora. All of these corpora cover the COVID times of 2019, end of 2019 and also 2020. And now in the second stage, it continues with data from 2021 and 2022. Um, so we can see that um, different corpora are different S sizes, but also um, in the period before COVID. What information is included? The corpora include information about the political parties, whether they are oppositions uh, or ruling parties, coalitions, and so on. Also, speakers with party memberships, uh, status in the parliament, whether the person is a chair or regular member, gender, sessions with their date and term, session, meeting, number, title, speeches with marked speakers and their status, chair, regular, text of the speeches, transcriber comments, gaps, interruptions, applauses, voting, and as I said before, linguistic information. So the first really common format for parliamentary data was out in 2019 as a result from Quarin Parla format workshop. It is a simple TI customization with extensive annotation guidelines. Parliament used this Parlaclarin version encoding, but it further constrained it. So, what's new in Parliament 2? In Work Package 1, which is called Documentation, Interoperability and Metadata, we have subtasks, harmonization of encoding, git management, adding metadata to existing corpora. You can also see the leads in red. Uh, work package 2 goes to corpus expansion. It means that new corpora are added for new parliaments, also extending existing corpora and also data distribution. Work package 3, corpus enrichment. It means machine translation and semantic tagging uh, 
um, of all the corpora from stage one, all of them will be translated into English and then semantically tagged. In this way, they are comparable. And also multimodality. Some uh, initial experiments will be done with um, aligning speech with uh, written documents. And uh, recently the data for Croatian was out. Work package four, engagement activities. Here, several tasks are envisaged. Um, developing a tutorial, uh, organizing a hackathon, organizing a shared task, and also developing further showcases. Work package five refers to coordination, and here we have management, dissemination, and external monitoring. Last but not least comes work package six. Uh, it is called potential for follow-up. Uh, it is not uh, paid, it is additional package uh, because we care about what happens after the project uh, stops and uh, what is the sustainability of our corpora. So, here we envisage the following things. Future scope for data, uh, to expand it geographically, also temporally, and linking this data with other sources and resources. Then, future scope for new or emerging technologies. What else can be used here? And future scope for funding and going ahead. Here you can see the partners. Um, they become more and more. Uh, which is nice because now uh, more and more research can be done over these parliaments. And um, we think that this will be very useful also for other disruptions um, in society concerning to uh, politics and health and so on. Here uh, we give the links to Parallel Clarin Current Schema, a GitHub, where you can find also scripts and samples to the repository for annotated and un unannotated data. Here is the reference for our work. It is the Parliament Corpora of Parliamentary Proceedings in Language Resources and Evaluation Journal and contact info. If you are interested in our work, you are invited to write to Machi or me. Thank you for your attention.